All right, we're back. I dropped the camera there for a second. Eh, actually, a couple minutes. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and work on the, sh uh, the lid here. So I gotta put the new shift fork in here that broke. The old one I snapped it off, wherever the hell I went to. It uh, over here. Broke the end of it off. That's why I had to pull the tranny part. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the new one here in there. I already put the uh, little plastic pieces on here. They just pop on and off. No big deal. I also scraped off all the little metal particles that were on the rubbing surfaces, so that's clean again. So these are just held in with little roll pins. So you knock the roll pins out and you can move this stuff around. So this one here we need to go ahead and pull out the shifter shaft. So I gotta knock out the roll pin here. Right there. Need to knock out this one here so I can slide everything over. I guess get the shaft out so I can go ahead and put this other one here in the hole. So that's what we're going to do right now is knock that out. Gonna rotate a little bit to get it to go in. Room for the roll pin to come out. This one's a little bit shorter than the other one. See the difference in length between the two here? So this one here is about an eighth inch shorter than the one that holds a fork in. So that way you know which one's which. Of course I'm missing one of them already, but I'm sure it's around here somewhere. So now we're going to go ahead and mark my shaft so I know where up is. I didn't do that before, so. Okay. I'm going to slide this out. This one doesn't want to slide out, but protesting. Okay, so this here is just a simple little uh, engagement here. You slip it into the, the hole here. Yeah. Slip it in, drop it down into it. Looking upside down here. So that drops into your fork and it drops in. So you gotta figure out if it goes on top or bottom of the other one. Picture looked like it went on top. I thought it went on the bottom. And I'm going to go with my theory because the forks line up when I do it that way. When the forks are at an angle, so one fork's here, one's over here, that's not going to work. So. so it looks to me like I had it. My idea was right, it goes down. Okay, so once we get that in there, I'm going to shove the shaft back across. Like you gotta pay a more attention to this beat in the hole.
It looks like that goes like that, I'm guessing. So the picture still looks wrong, but. Hard to tell. Anyway, the forks are actually lined up right now. So they're going to, they're equal with each other, so. I think that's how it goes, because otherwise it wouldn't be equal. You know, somewhere there's going to be the dog has to engage back in here. Looks like that's not going to work. There's my hole at. That has to be able to slip through. Yeah, I believe it goes that way. Got pin out of the way. That one in there. Okay, now it's over there where that belongs. We don't see the dowel pin where it needs to go. It's a dowel pin way over here, but that's too far over. That would line up way over here, which to me looks like it's way too far. There's almost nothing. Yeah, it's not even in the hole. Obviously something's not quite right here. Okay, there's that hole.
I'm doing something wrong. That's what it is. Come on. Yeah, huh. uh, whatever I'm doing is not right. and start over. Okay, shaft goes over here. This stupid ass thing here. This teardrop shape spacer goes through this wedge piece here, and I couldn't get the in. So, once it's where it belongs, should be able to make the rest of it work. Okay. Now, this is still supposed to go into here. I think it goes on the bottom side right there. And that's how it engages right there, but my problem is getting it to go together that way. So this time, we're going to hold that piece in there. Stick it in here. Stick it underneath. is don't let this piece come out of the wedge piece or the flat plate. Keep it engaged all the time that way it doesn't drop down. When it drops down you got no leverage to get back up in the air. Okay so now it all looks like it's in the right spot to me. Hopefully. So now I gotta get the, get the notch where it needs to be. Got a hole in there. Okay, there's the dowel hole right there. Get the short dowel pin. Try to beat it in the hole.
Hey, drop out of the wedge. I was going good until it dropped out again. Now it's all jammed up again. Yeah, it'll work in there for a minute. Yeah, normal deal. It'll fall out, but it won't go back in. It's wedged in there where I can't get to it. Now it's behind the shift fork. It won't work. Somehow it fell in that position, but naturally it won't come back out. There we go. Okay, quit showing off and knocking it out. It's got to stay in one spot. Okay, that should be able to go back into transmission lid where it belongs. Definitely pain in the ass, but anyway, it's back in there. So make your shifter you go that way. We can go with the other one. It doesn't lock up. Don't pull it out. Be screwed like I just got. Okay, that's it for now. Tomorrow we'll try to put this on the top and finish the journey up. So we're done for now.